Welcome, spirit children. I am called Trinity Winslow. And I am called Craig. And, and this, this is Lamaze Class, where we'll prepare you to give birth to the beautiful life within you. Or help empower your tiny dancers to waltz into the spotlight with your hearts. Now, why don't you all introduce, introduce yourselves? Hi, everybody. We're the Blandleys. I'm Sierra. And I'm Alan. Blandley! Okay, well, I'm actually in charge of fundraising for the Boy Scouts of America. Alan. Okay, I actually just buy a lot of Boy Scout popcorn. And I'm a stay-at-home mom. Sarah. Well, soon to be stay-at-home mom. Right now, I just kind of stay at home. <laughs> wow, you guys will make excellent dance partners. Let's continue with this handsome gentleman over here and his wife. I am Priscilla Willoughby. This pregnancy is mostly Preston's fault. Uh, a girl does need her beauty sleep after all. Oh, in fact, at the time of conception, I was in full REM cycle. It was That's late enough, night. Peach. My name is Preston Willoughby, and well, people always tell me I have a stick shoved up my fanny, but I have an astonishing proctologist, and I've actually had him look into it. Valdrys! Snickerdoodle. <laughs> no when to stop. Thank you for addressing your lines. Especially you, Captain. And where are... Otis and Chardonnay Coon. Hey, let us in! That must be them. The door's open! Yeah. Hey, Chardonnay, I think I found it. Man, we was in the wrong room the whole time. Otis, <laughs> I do not know what AA stands for, but those people sure know how to party. <laughs> we have all had our pregnancy scares. Um, no. Ooh. <laughs> Fun in the oven. An original performance. Now that this group of individuals has become one, it's important to know that the miracle of childbirth is actually a long and harrowing journey. We'd like to know how far along each of you is. Or where you are in your routine. Priscilla, why don't you start? Why haven't you clue? Preston, what would you say? It's been one wretched week. Although the one minute before the one week was almost satisfactory. Full run cycle, Snickerdoodle, remember? Wow, looks like you could use a new choreographer. And Chardonnay. Do we look like we own a calendar? I don't know, maybe four or five months? Yep, Daddy's drinking for three now. Woo! That's a dangerous dance, Sarah. And how about you, Sarah? Oh, we're doing your time now. Yep, any minute now. Uh, where are you, boo, Sarah? Is it two weeks, two days? I, I know it's two something. Yeah, it's a two more, Alan. <laughs> oh, crap, we are not ready. <laughs> in that case, let's get this routine in full speed. The first step in the birthing process is developing the bond among mother, ballerina, father, ballerina, and child, tiny dancer. So all of you strong, fertile men, get behind your wives and gently place your hands on your children. I only touch her when I need something from her. Correction, I only let you touch me when I want something from you. Okay, so what do I do? Just get behind me. Okay. Now put your hands around. Like this? Lower. Oh, twins! Ellen! Ah, boobs! Otis, just put your arm around me. I'm trying. You're too fat. Otis, that hurts my feelings. Well, this is hurting my back. Very good job, everyone. Otis is trying to get the next time. Well, maybe she wasn't so fat. Well, at least I'm not as fat as your grandpappy. Don't you bring Papa onto this. You, you know he's trying to gain a weight after all the pigs ran away that one way away and have no food. And he couldn't work at all. Then we start making moonshine in the bathtub. Pigs out the truck. Otis, Chardonnay, let's not step on each other's toes. She started it. Hey. It takes two to tango. Now the next step in the birthing process is learning how to control your breathing. So we're going to teach you part one of a two-part exercise. Part one, the inhale. Now on the count of three, we want everyone to inhale. One, two, three. Good job, everyone. Otis Chardonnay, you'll get it next time. We'll learn part two of that exercise later. We'd like to know if any of you have five names for your children. I think we're going to go with an old coon family name, Rat. Oh, I like that name, Rack. Rack Coon. <laughs> now that rolls right off the tongue. It sure does, honey. Well, Preston hates children. I hate children. So apparently none of my names work. My vote is full of fat annoying, probably won't amount to anything. Then why not just call it Preston Jr.? <laughs> <laughs> Jokes. We're actually going to name him after my grandfather. Uh, he holds the record for buying the most Boy Scout popcorn. He's pretty much my role model. Alan! Yes, honey? I think my water broke. Oh, God! Ah, crap! I think mine did, too! <laughs> the nerve of that woman. She's oh. spewing all over the carpet! Quick, blow up the kiddie pool! Oh, I get it, raccoon! <laughs> that is funny! What's 
should we do, Sierra? We need to go to the hospital. You know, this could be a great learning experience, Peach. We're, We're coming, coming with, with you. Hey, honey, I hear they got indoor plumbing at the hospital. Well, shoot, let's go then. Woo! <laughs> wow, what a beautiful day. Feel free to relax, everyone. Make yourselves at home. Preston, scoot over. What? This gentleman looks like he has a case of the common cold. Does it look contagious? Yes. Oh, look, we got TV. Y'all care about. I'm going to change the channel. Oh, they got cable. See if swamp people's on. No, no, I want to watch Dog the Bounty Hunter. <gasps> NASCAR. <laughs> Honey, ah, Sierra, it'll be okay. Just, just relax, Sierra. The doctor should be here any minute. Hello there, I'm Dr. Rafiki Winthrop, recent graduate of Mike for Situation Sorrentino Online Community College. And I'll be a general practitioner for today's, uh, hysterectomy. Pregnancy. Pregnancy. I'm going to help you deliver that pregnancy. Baby. Baby. We're going to have a baby today. Where's our regular doctor? Oh, uh, your regular physician, Dr. Um, Feinstein, yeah. He was in a terrible traffic accident on his way to work this morning. There were no survivors. That's terrible. He's doing fine. Well, everything looks good here, and, uh, uh, uh oh, what, you got lead in your shoes or something? Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> I'll be right back. I do not want that man anywhere near your vagina. Ellie! What? Ah, oh, ah. Crap, crap, Sarah, do you remember the exercise? Part one, the inhale? One, two, three. What do I do now? What do I do now? Part two. What's part two? Ah, crap. Okay, I'm back. So, next step, breathing. You have done Lamar. So, I take it, you know, the inhale, exhale. <gasps> Great. How do you feel about drugs? Well, I've never done them. You know, birthing drugs. Yeah, what am I got to? Oh, yeah. Too we late. We got to go. Final question, and this one's a doozy. Do I have anything in my teeth? <laughs> Alan, I do not want that man anywhere near my vagina. I know. Ah! Oh, it looks like you're going into labor. So, is everyone ready? Because I'm about to get real close to that vagina. The time has come, Craig. We need to help our beautiful ballerina, Sarah, spring forth her tiny dancer. And what better way to do that than through interpretive dance? This will be a poly arrangement production for Pat. We'll be performing selections mimicking ethnicities around regions or smear. This is our Pat Smear Birthing Dance. From the streets of Harlem. Huh? What's that, Oh crap! Oh gosh! Asian. Keep pushing, man. You're doing great. You're doing great. I want to see. I want to see. Oh, I don't want to see. Ah, oh, crap! Ellie! Oh God! Oh. Caucasian. This is my jam! <laughs> and finally, the thrilling conclusion from Gary, Indiana. <laughs> We're having babies! Babies, yeah! They're popping out of eyes, our babies are perfect. Bum, bum, bottom. Ow! Okay, I mean, one last big one! Congratulations, it's a baby! <laughs> Welcome back, spirit children. Our friends Alan and Sarah are finally dancing the ballet of Canada. But it's been so nice to see how you've grown, Priscilla. What's that supposed to mean? Hormones are kicking in, aren't they? And Otis and Chardonnay are looking... healthy. Oh, oh, thank thanks. you. You know, we just got a new TV, and I've been watching a lot it. of NASCAR. It does wonders NASCAR for is your probably the best thing that has ever been invented on God's green earth. Otis, blow up the kiddie pool. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.